Good evening, Moment of Truth. I thought I would uh, give an update on some of the things that I've done. It's nighttime, so it's dark. I'm not going to be able to show you the outside, which I haven't done anything there anyway. I was able to cut the hole for the sink, and because I wasn't able to keep it, you know, perfectly uh, square, and I had to do some work around the edges. Of course, my piece doesn't fit in here flush now, the piece that I cut out, but the sink is beautiful. Um, let me move these cords. I let's look at it this way. I did a good job by the grace of God. I've got stuff stored in here. I know. There's the uh, hardware for the spigot and everything, but I made this little tray out of... Uh, the remain the piece that I cut out and I took some L brackets and I cut them or I didn't cut the L brackets I screwed in here and I you know turned the L bracket around and then I put um, soft material underneath it so it doesn't scratch up anything so this stainless steel shows on this side which you know of course I have those two screw holes that I'm not going to use but I think I did a pretty good job by the grace of God and of course, you've already seen the little, uh, just the geometric shape windowsill I made for the kitchen. I am now working on the sliding door that is going to, and actually I've got it glued together right here. And uh, I'll hang it tomorrow on this uh, frame here and or on this hardware. And I have the hardware for that. So that door will, for the most part, be positioned in this area. And I am actually, I think I've decided to, to put a piece of stained glass in the upper part of it so that light will come through. But I mean, that door will be able to slide and you can position it anywhere. I'm debating as to whether to um, make a small, thinner door here and stick with the idea. But again, I don't like blocking off the front from the back. I love that it's just opened up and in good weather, that back is down and the light is in, and the air. As you can see, the cushions have all been cut up, uh, and everything went well in the cutting up of the cushions. I am now awaiting the custom-built covers for each piece. So there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces, and um, but they're all going to be the same color of beige, I wanted a more brown look, um, but I couldn't find what I wanted for the right price. So they are making me beige. The price was excellent. I can't wait till they come uh, this week uh, to just kind of make everything all uniform. And then I'll, I'll show you how easy it is to throw the bed together. Um, right now I'm just using sheet material and I actually love this color. And this is what I was looking for. Now, what you see down there is a tufted um, storage container uh, for my clothes. And I'll be able to slide it out and remove the cushions from either side or both side. And this will be my desk and table area. So I have plenty of space for desk and table. As you can see, I've still done nothing about purchasing or building a real com uh, composting toilet. But I'm, I'm not sure if I showed you the, the adorable little feature that I added. Let me remove this cushion. When you lift up the, the door for the, or the top for the, for the toilet, and if I were to put it in the lock position up, I had, I put a little basket in there that perfectly holds toilet paper. So I'm super excited. And of course, I had added a little stainless steel uh, step on a trash can. Let me close this. Now, uh, put, put this uh, cushion back up and get it out of my way. I want to show you the beautiful teak mat. I don't know if I gave you an up close of the teak mat. Of course, this, this part is in the down position. It can be up in the up posi position, but I have these cushions awaiting their custom made um, covers. So here we have that beautiful teak mat for the floor of the shower. I'm ready now to go on Amazon or, or Lowe's and purchase my gorgeous shower head. 
uh, because it's time to do the plumbing. Of course, that little cabinet there, I still haven't done much to it. Um, of course, these two pieces, one of them goes on this other side, but I actually like it better because this seat is so uh, narrow compared to this one. I just keep both pieces back here and I uh, just use the little throw pillow pillows here. I don't know if I ever showed you my little windowsill, but that's that. But back to the kitchen. I'm really, really pleased with how the sink looks um, and how the Lord blessed me in cutting it out and how he has blessed me in cutting it down. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to frame out the cabinet. And then I'm going to put a, a board that's going to cover, you know, the sink. And then I, I will probably build doors like this and keep the same look. I'll put a style. I believe they're called styles. I need to put one here, one here, and put a board uh, in on this side. And take a look at the induction uh, burners. The Lord also blessed me as I cut out uh, this hole and it worked out perfect. I adjusted uh, these to put them in a better position. Uh, they truly are out of the way for when I do dishes and I'm thrilled with that. I was a, a bit worried. And I think if we, if we cut it down just a little bit more here on the side and a little bit more here and just basically make it large enough to hold that microwave securely, then we'll also get it out of the way of the induction uh, burners. Now, my idea for over here, I think I have decided that I'm literally going to gather stones that I already have um, instead of buying tiling. Of course, we have this ribbed uh, metal, and I do believe I am going to glue stones in this area and make a, a hearth, a homemade DIY hearth out of stones that I think are pretty out here on this farm that I've gathered through the years and that I use. I don't want them all the same size. It's going to be a very rustic, um, thrown together. I'm, I'm gonna glue, see how it looks after I've glued them. Um, and then I'll make a decision on whether we're gonna put some grout in there. Um, but I'm kind of liking the idea of the more rustic, just gluing them together, laying them together, just doing a little piece of artwork and, um, and if I can, if you can instruct me on the best glue for rock and metal, uh, let me know. And if it can't be done, you can let me know that as well. Um, but this is, this is all that I've done myself. I'm, I can't wait till if Bill and Sue still want to help out. Um, I, I cannot wait to see what they can do with it. Once I've done everything that I know I can do, it's ready for the plumbing. It's ready for the wiring. It's just about complete here. Um, and then of course I've got to stain it and waterproof it. Um, but I'm truly excited about uh, my thoughts that are going on in my head about what I can do about some stonework. Some really rustic stonework. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I'm excited. I might even use some stones to do the border here uh here and still still thinking about you know uh putting the stained glass here and then building another one here putting another little stained glass window in it so that light can come through i think the color scheme is gorgeous with the beige brown the beige brown and the blues uh i changed that back curtain out to a solid and then of course we're going to put very early in this build for privacy for the composting toilet. I have a track that I'm gonna put right up here and it will have a very uh, thin curtain that if you really, you know, gotta use the loo and you feel, you know, more comfortable just being surrounded by that curtain, <laughs> you'll have your own little loo curtain for privacy. So I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. I, I also put in an offer for another piece of property. I'm not getting my hopes up. It's uh, about 17 acres. It's fully wooded. I'm not crazy about that. I'd have to do quite a bit of clearing. Um, but you know what? If the Lord is in it, um, one of the beautiful features of it is 
uh, one of the roads that 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 it sits on if you go about a quarter of a ways down uh, down that road actually a quarter of a mile down that road I mean or maybe a half a mile down that road it goes right to the bay so you've got forest you've got farmland and you've got the water I mean you know that's Maryland and Delaware for you which is why it's so lovely so of course in that wooded land there's going to be some marshlands um, but in you know it hey it it's already it has already perked for a standard septic so that's that's telling me it's pretty dry back there in spite of being so close to the bay so that's a blessing um, there are two lots and uh, we'll see how that goes well god bless you god bless america and if i get this door a sliding door accomplished tomorrow and this cabinet finished out i'll make another video and it would be awesome if i can come up with a final thought on how i'm going to stone this little area in here um, and i, I really want to use the stones from the property here and stones that i've collected through the years because i love rocks and stones and i collect them and it, it'd be wonderful to take with me a piece of this this property is a reminder of, of the many years that I have spent here and have just loved this farm. Again, have a wonderful evening, my friends. God bless you and God bless America.